So at this point, uh, you notice that uh, the text, this is a comment. If I click on the comment here, you see that it's got some text. But like we said earlier, maybe somebody had liked multiple comments. You have to actually know which comment this is being talked about. So we should see a little bit of a preview here. So let's go to single notification.php and copy this part right here. This is the part which has the HTML special chars. And we're going to put it here because this part only comes in when the content type is a post, but this is a comment. So it goes to this section. So let's paste it down there. Move it back a little bit. Okay. Great. So let's save that and see. Okay, so we get an error undefined content row. So this is undefined. Bummer. The fact that it here it's defined means we probably created it inside an if statement. So there we go. So all we need to do is move it outside this if statement. Like so. And that should work out. There we go. So now at least you see some text from the comment that is being talked about. Now the one thing we need to do is for the user to be able to know which notification has actually been seen and which one has not. So this is what will help us to determine what number to add here. And also we can color the uh, the notifications differently depending on whether they've been seen or not. So yeah, something like that. So in order to make this happen, let's create a table. Now, the reason we cannot just go to the notification table and add a column here for scene so that we can uh, put a zero or a one if this notification has been seen. The problem is one notification, one notification can relate to many people. So if one of them sees it and then we put a scene here to mean everybody has seen it and that can't work out. So we need a different uh, a different row or a different record for each user to know whether that particular user has seen this notification or not. So let's create a new table here for that. So the naming is up to you. I'll name it notification underscore scene. So as long as a record is in here, then it means it has been seen. So I just need an ID the primary index and then I'm going to say notification underscore ID and then the the user ID okay so the user ID and the notification that they've sent so maybe let me swap these I just like it this way to start with the user ID like so okay so here we use big int big int notification id big int that's all we need and then here auto increment on the id and primary index and then save now since we're going to be using the user id to search so we add an index and so index on all of them because we'll be using those parameters to read and try to retrieve a record. Okay, so this is what we have now, the ID, user ID, and notification ID. Okay, so in the next video, we'll look at how to actually save data in there when we see that notification is seen. Because right now what's happening is if you click on this item, there's no way for us to know that uh, this item was clicked on 
and went here unless we put something here maybe a a parameter here to know that there's a specific notification that uh, that we, we've been sent here from a notification all right so in the next video we're going to do that see you then